Hi everyone, welcome to this week's lesson. Okay, in last week's lesson, we learned about cotton, leather, and wool, right? So cotton comes from plants, right? So we use cotton to make things like socks, like t-shirts, and also like your towels, okay? And then we also learned about leather, comes from cows. Okay, we use leather to make um, jacket, shoes, right? Even wallet. And then we learn that wool comes from sheep, right? Wool, you look at the sheep, it keeps you warm. Okay, when you wear uh, sweaters made from wool, like this one, it makes you warm. Okay, let's look at the cotton from plants first. Okay, I have a video to show you. Let's look at a video how cottons are made from, are collected from plants. Let's check it out. Origins of the cotton plant are unknown, although archaeologists have unearthed pieces of cotton cloth over 7,000 years old. Through the centuries, cotton fiber was traditionally processed by hand until the early 18th century, when the first automated processing machine was invented. Before cotton arrives at the textile mill to be spun into thread and woven into fabric, it makes the journey from field to bale. Cotton takes about five months to grow from a planted seed to a ripe plant. This harvesting machine, called a cotton picker, plucks fluffy seed cotton out of the plant's bowl, leaving a trail of burrs and sticks behind. The machine empties the plucked cotton into a tractor-drawn buggy. This machine builds the seed cotton into a humongous rectangular block called a module. A truck transports the module to the processing plant, known as a cotton gin. Once the cotton arrives to the processing plant, Sticks and burrs are removed, as well as any lingering debris and seeds. A truck dumps the module into a feeder, which moves the packed seed cotton into a dispenser. The ground seed cotton falls onto a conveyor belt, which leads to the hot box. The hot box mixes the seed cotton with hot air, which allows the moisture to evaporate, making the seed cotton easier to clean. A machine called the Wadbuster breaks up the clumps of seed cotton by tossing it against a screen. Loose debris falls through the screen openings down a narrow chute. Then the seed cotton moves through a machine called the Steady Flow, which divides it equally between two processing lines. On each line... Okay, that's a little bit of video about cotton, how cotton is uh, processed in the factory. So you saw just now that the tractor okay, collected all the cottons from the plants. Then they process it in the factory. And after that, they will send it to the garment factory to make your t-shirts, your socks, and also your towels. Okay. Okay, next we want to look at how the wools, okay, we learned that wools comes from sheep and the wools are used to make um, sweaters, socks to keep us warm. Okay, let's look at a video how the wool is collected from the sheep. Okay, they shear, okay, the person is a shearer, it shears the wool from the sheep, okay, like how your hair is cut, right? They use the wool, collect the wool to make uh, these clothes. Okay, let's look at the video now. of the sheep just like how your hair is cut right when the barber cuts your hair shaves your hair and okay, the shearer is cutting off the wool from the body of the sheep the sheep is still alive huh? you can see the sheep is still alive okay now the sheep has no more wool on its body it's just like after you having a haircut 
and here they are still sharing the rooms. So these are all the wolves that they have collected. So they use these wolves to make your sweaters, your socks to keep you warm, especially during winter or cold season. Okay, so that is how the wool is uh, collected from the body of the sheep. Okay, lastly, uh, we have leather coming from the cows. Okay, I'm not going to show you any video because it's a bit bloody there. So um, the leather is also coming from the skin of the cow. Right? It's coming from the skin of the cows. And then they use the leather to make uh, your shoes and also your jacket. Okay, now you look at uh, these few items here. Okay, think about it. What are they made of? Okay, so we have three, three ingredients here. We have the cotton, leather, and wool. Right? Remember, cotton is like t-shirts, keep you cool, and then wool is keep is to keep you warm, and then leather is of a. Um, strong materials is a good quality so look at the items here all right let's look at number one what is this made of does it look like the sheep does it look like the wool does it look like the wool on the sheep yes okay it is made of wool right okay what about this belt here does it look like this jacket? Does it look like the skin on the cow? Yes, okay, so this is made of leather. Okay, what about this cat? Does it, is it thin, like keep you cool? Yes, it's made of cotton, right? The cat here is made of cotton. What about this apron? Is it thick or is it thin? Not too thick like the wool, right? So it is made of cotton as well. Okay, what about this pair of shoes? Is it hard? Look at the quality there. It's hard, it's tough, right? So it's also made of leather. Okay, things they are made of leather, they are of very good quality. Okay, they are very tough, they are not easily torn, not easily very broken. Okay, the last one. Look at this pair of gloves here. Does it look like the wool on the ship? Yes, it's to keep you warm, right? So this is wool. So when we are having um when we are feeling cold, okay, right in a winter season, we can wear things that are made of wool, like this woolen hat and this woolen gloves here to keep us warm. If you want good qualities, you go for leather. Right? You go for leather. And then to keep you cool, not too hot, you go for cotton, right? You have cotton cap, apron, shorts, t-shirts to keep you cool. Right, so let's look at this exercise here. Cool, strong, warm. Okay, number one. Wool is, again, wool is, what is wool again? Wool comes from sheep. Okay, can you see the sheep here? Wool comes from sheep. So wool is warm. Okay, wool is warm. It is to keep you warm so when you wear all these woolen products it keep, they, keep, they keep you warm okay what about leather leather okay, like the skin on the cow it they are 
straw. Okay, they are straw. So when you wear products made from leather, they are straw. They can last a long time. They are of good quality. Okay, the last one, cotton. We wear cotton to make keep us cool. So like in Malaysia, we are having hot weather here, so we wear cotton t-shirt, right? Shorts keep us cool. Okay, for this activity, we listen to an audio clip and then we number the pictures. Okay, let's listen to the audio clip together. Students' book. Page 92 1. Listen and act out with your teacher. Then listen again and number the pictures. 1. You can see a fly on your jeans. Ooh. 2. Open the window. Three. Catch the fly. Ooh, uh, oh, oh. Four. Put the fly outside. Five. Turn around. Six. Oh no! The fly is on your nose. Ooh. Okay. Did you get all the numbers correctly? Okay, let's um, listen again and let's number them together, alright? Students book. Page 92. Then listen again and number the pictures. One. You can see a fly on your jeans. Ooh. Two. Okay, you can see a fly on your jeans. So which picture it is? Alright, this one here. Yeah? There's a fly on the jeans. So here you put number one. Open the window. <laughs> Okay, open the window. So which one is opening the window? This one? This one? Okay, this one, yeah, is opening the window here. So this picture we put number two. Three. Catch the fly. Ooh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, catch the fly. Now which picture is showing the boy catching the fly? <clears throat> okay, this one over here. You put number three. The boy is catching the fly. Four. Put the fly outside. Okay, put the fly outside. Okay, put the fly outside is this one, right? He's putting the fly outside. So this is picture number four. Five. Turn around. Okay, then we turn around. Okay, can you see this boy here turning around with an arrow here turning around? So this is picture number five. And lastly, six. Oh no! The fly is on your nose. Ooh. Okay, sounds like a mosquito, right? Okay, the fly is on the nose. This is picture number six. Okay, then we read and number the sentences from the story. Okay, the first picture again over here, there's a fly. You can see a fly on your jeans. So here we number number one. Okay, this is number one. You can see a fly on your jeans. Number two, the boy is opening the window. So here we put number two, open the window. And number three, the boy is catching the fly. So number three is here, catch the fly. 
Number four, the boy is putting the fly outside, right? Outside. So here, put the fly, fly <coughs> outside. Number five, the boy is turning around. So number five is turning around. Number six, there's a fly on the nose. Oh no, the fly is on your nose. Okay, did you get all the answers correctly? Okay, for <clears throat> today's homework, now, okay, this is the file that I'll be attaching on Google Classroom. Okay, we won't be doing this exercise because this exercise asks us to talk to our friends, but we can't talk to our friends for now. So I just want you to look at this worksheet over here and then you categorize the clothing items here. So we learn, like for example, you can uh, <clears throat> do this in your exercise book. Okay, you put three columns there. So you have cotton, leather, and wool. Okay, cotton, leather, and wool. So three um, columns here. And then you look at the this uh, image here. So number one <clears throat> has got cotton shoes. Can you see cotton shoes? So the shoes is made of cotton. So you put the shoes over here under cotton. Okay, very easy, right? Okay, let's look at another one. Has got a woolen jacket. A woolen jacket. So this jacket is made of wool. So you put under wool here a jacket. Okay, that's all. So you uh, categorize all these items here, right? You have jeans, socks, caps, shorts, sweater, jackets, skirt, trousers, and you do them in your exercise book. Uh, you draw a table like this. Okay, so that's all for the video today. Okay, you can watch last week's videos here. And please do your homework, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.